Okay, yesterday I couldn't hit Jace's workshop. Today, we're trying for a Jace's workshop. Please. I mean, Hollow Nine's good too. So I don't care if it's one of these two, but not Orangeforge. What? Not Orangeforge, please. Please. Nisa? All right. So you are alive right. after all. Well, at least we're having fun one way or the other. Who are you? I'm Timmy. I'm your biggest fan. All right, fine. Hall of Nine. I, I'm just cursed to never play Jason. Gabby, there's a child in my room. I'm half naked. If the cops come, I cannot explain this. But you know me, Mogwai. You talk to me in your videos all the time. Oh, there, and Trent, Mogwai here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterio for you guys today. And today, you guys will be wondering, what is a shark bear pig? Well, Timmy, it is a clickbait for today's video. And that is very good, Timmy. That's muy bueno. That's just really reliable. There's a lot of people shit-talking me for bringing up that comparison. Well, look, <laughs> where are you now, Timmy? Wait, wait, that's, that's just a name I use when... Ugh. Hi, so lit to finally meet you, fam. You seem rusty. What do you want? Why are you here? We're all worried. Your last video was a reaction to the portal came the day before expansion release on lore, and then you stopped uploading. You didn't stream TFT on Twitch, they kept promising TFT content that just never came. Now you don't even stream Twitch anymore. And frequent tweeting, lack of meaningful interaction with the community team. This pattern leads me to only one plausible conclusion. Are you dying? Nah, we're all dying. We are? I'm fine. I just need some time to finish the video. You said it would be ready by July. Yeah. It's October. I'm done with the game. All right. It's a bunch of action figures pretty awkwardly smacking each other. It's cringe. But you said you really liked TFT. Well, I lied. Ah! Heal Tarek. Heal him. Heal him. Oh, we didn't hit 40, though. Okay, so what if it was just Tarek? What if it was Soraka Carry? Why are you watching a TFT stream, then? Oh, my God. I have Tarek 2 on 2-2. Two -two. Maybe I that seems pretty good. just don't have what it takes. But you're Mega Mogwai! The greatest strategist I've ever known! You damn right I am! Once upon a time, at the dawn of the second millennium, there lived a special boy. Genetics had blessed him with tremendous charisma and unparalleled intellect. And yet he lacked drive. A sense of purpose eluded him. That was until one day when he witnessed something extraordinary. It was a story about a master card gamer, his grandfather taken from him by forces of evil. The hero set off on a journey to save his kin. His determination was unmatched. His miraculous plays defied the very laws of nature. The boy saw himself in him. From that very moment, he knew what his calling was, and he would do anything to see it through. With some clever manipulation tactics, he was able to persuade his mother to buy him his first deck. As he held the cards in his hands, an overwhelming sense of joy took over. For he knew his journey towards becoming a card game master had just begun. It was time to bring the anime to life. Soon enough, the boy made himself known. Every comic book store he entered, all heads would turn. Nothing was said, but he knew what they were all thinking. There he is, Mogwai, card game alpha. He's so cool. Every local tournament he joined, the boy conquered. Only terrible RNG and clearly broken shit stood in his way. He was quite simply smarter than everyone else. As the years passed, the boy grew into a man, a legend of the card gaming genre. Unfortunately, age brought other aspects into his life. Financial responsibility and all other kinds of bullshit he had no interest in. There were two options. To become a pawn of society or create a YouTube channel. The answer was obvious. I covered all kinds of games until I found my home. The Riot card game. 
Legends of Runeterra. Hello there, internet. Mawa here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterra video for guys today. We got a spicy deck to share. With Runeterra, I established myself as a content creator. Every day I built and shared a top tier list. Soon enough, it was known. Every matter relevant deck was a Magwai deck. Hundreds of thousands laid within my reach. A level of influence of which one could only dream. Inevitably, a new religion surfaced. The Church of Godwai. A Discord server where my followers would pray every day to honor my extraordinary abilities. The view at the top was glorious and lonely. Despite all my incredible success, I felt empty, stagnated. Things had changed, and I wasn't certain as to why. Perhaps it was the game's balance, or time, which has the power of transforming joy into monotony. I couldn't quite pinpoint it. Your views started dropping, so you wanted to find a more popular game? That had nothing to do with it! Darn up me! All I knew is I could either remain or seek change. I tried another mainstream card game, Marvel Snap, and was scammed out of my life savings. So there I stood, lacking finances and direction. I had to take action. It was time to leave the pond and venture into the sea, to explore other strategy-based games and in them, make my opponents bend the knee. Eight tacticians pit against each other in cognitive warfare. Tieti throws you into a world of chaos where one must establish order through clever purchasing, wise positioning, and financial discipline. I had discovered the auto battler genre. It was as if I'd traveled back in time where I could spend the entire day opening card packs, but I also got to watch my cards beat the living shit out of all the other ones. As a card gamer, I was drawn in instantly. I don't understand. What happened? An exciting new game that rewards cognitive ability. A loyal and supportive audience. Two books I judged for their covers. When I reached Platinum, the game's true nature revealed itself to me. No, no! No, what the fuck? Did I, did I just miss? I just missed the jinx. I don't know what's happening! Ah! Oh, all the sub! Oh my god, oh my god, I didn't realize, oh no! I think everything's gonna be okay, guys. Which means a chain vest. A chain vest on Jervin, oh my god, a chain vest on Jervin. Please, please. No, 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 oh my god! What happened? No! And this is only correct. Wait, not now, my brother in Christ. Don't roll, don't roll, don't roll, don't spend your gold. Please, stop this madness. Has it no! No! No, you gotta get it in! Oh! As a card gamer, TFT's pacing was unlike anything I'd ever played before. Every decision, every plan was violently thwarted by the timer. A ruthless, unforgiving system that rewarded reflexes over tactical prowess. To make matters worse, my own viewers turned against me. What I thought was a pack of loving and supporting wolves turned out to be a clan of hyenas, spamming baboomers and kegws at every opportunity, feeding off of my anger and despair. I fell into the abyss, alone and humiliated. My viewership dropped, my church disbanded. It was then when I realized the truth. Things aren't the way they used to be. I remember when strategic gaming was more patient, more pure, with a smooth, natural pacing like that of a river. Now the river has been replaced with a highway, filled with Dominic Toretto wannabes driving recklessly in order to prove they're capable of more actions per minute. Nothing but a peasant contest! That's what tactical games have become. Unga bunga spaz fest made for walking fetuses like you. There's no room left for my kind. And why would there be? I'm past my prime. I can feel my brain decaying, my neuron network slowly entering a state of profound necrosis. Aren't you like 30? It's over. I'm going to have to find a real job. But you've been playing video games for a living for years. A real working environment is something you cannot possibly handle. You'll die. So be it. That's how the world works after all. 
everything that is, eventually isn't. Alright, what do these numbers look like? Oh my... <laughs> okay. That's Mordok, right? He's okay. like TFT's Pegasus! <laughs> <laughs> He's super good! Right? I mean... <laughs> We're gonna get he's okay. Get. His beard is gray. Uh, he's like you. Nutty. But he's still good. How? Mm. Isn't his brain also in necrotesis? It's pretty obvious. He can alter the game's balance to his will. If I called the shots, it'd be easy for me too. I thought your problem was your biological inability to keep up with the timer. And yet, he seems to handle it just fine. Hmm. Just what exactly are you implying? I think you being old isn't really the problem. It's just that... You're still kinda bad. I don't have to stand here listening to your garbage takes! Do you know what I've been through? The never ending fails? The constant ridicule! Every time I close my eyes, I see the boomers! It's okay if you think it's too hard. You can just... give up. It's just... I guess you're not the kind of creator I thought you were. So that's how you see me, as a quitter, a coward. No, I... Yeah? Timmy, turn on the computer. Are you okay? You seem kind of spaced out. The day my mother bought me my first starter deck, something within the deepest corners of my mind awakened. It was then when I discovered this place. I call it the Shadow Realm. Isn't that a place from that show you really like? That's a coincidence. This dimension shuts out everything. The TV, the door, my amazing decoration. It all no longer exists. Here, it's just us and a bridge to Runeterra. The Shadow Realm allows me to connect with TFT's champions. After reading their official biographies, I can see just how similar our existence is. Here, I can channel their strength and carry their burden. In the outside world, I'm but a mere tactical genius. Here, I'm like Ash, Queen of Averosa. The grim responsibility of my lineage and extraordinary gifts left me feeling isolated, burdened, alone. He's, He's like, like Aphelios. A silent, silent warrior, warrior who'd beat the living, the living shit out of anybody who'd harm his sister. Onichan! You're so cool! Like Nautilus, I too have had to endure those unwilling to pay the tithe. Yes, I'm talking about you. Nelty Lugger wants a scribe! We stand at the very door of a world without limits. Our psyche holds the key. So tell me, Timmy. Do you see? No! Then join me. Today, we shall reach master's rank. And then I'll post a screenshot on Twitter. That'll put all those assholes in their place. They're gonna regret all that. Hey, 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 wh what are you doing? Stand over there. This is my chair. Somewhere along the way, I lost my confidence. Talking to you today, I feel like I've broken free from my own self-restraint. And for that, I thank you. I've learned from my past mistakes, and now, as a brand new man, I'm ready to finish the climb I started. Shouldn't we spend some time studying metastats and stuff? You haven't played in a while. Baka! There's no teacher like the battlefield itself. We begin with a portal vote. This is a key moment in a TFT match. One must analyze all three options carefully and assess which one is more likely to give your playstyle an advantage. Patience is the- Oh my god! The university! Yes! <laughs> Look! They're all joining you! Obviously. You'd have to be a sociopath to vote against prismatic augments. That penguin's leaving! Hey! You Judas! I guess they changed their mind. Don't be naive. This person, if we can even call it that, represents the worst of the community. A lonely loser, desperate for recognition. They spent their entire life in the shadows of those greater than them. You think that going against the tide makes you unique? Special? Well, it doesn't! You're pathetic! Fine! Have it your way. 
I'll make sure to enjoy destroying you. Behold, our opener. A Bastion front line to hold the center, and a Demacia level 2 Samira carry in the back, ready to dominate. Watch closely, Timmy. With this level of tempo, a win streak awaits. <laughs> a three game win streak. We're on the verge of gaining maximum interest. Should you be behind so many units? We're close to the crimes at below 10 gold. Capitalism has robbed your generation of critical thinking. I'm designing a game winning Demacian team with Fiora as our endgame prospect. I already possess five out of the seven Demacians, and now I'll activate Demacia 5. And you'll see a five game win streak will repair any financial shortcomings. Did you just take out level two Irulia? Our front line is weak! And Samir lost Challenger! Now we have no gold and no streak! This is bad! You distracted me with your incessant back city! Now picking every decision as if you hold anything worth sharing in that pubescent brain. Timmy, I may as well call you Twitch. It's a bit hard to stay quiet when you spend all of your money to wait at the barn. Having to justify my plays to you gives me tunnel vision. I excel at focusing on a task, but I lose concentration on the rest. What? It's a medical condition. This is far from over. We'll set up a loose streak to rebuild our economy and focus on recruiting every Demacian and Slayer we see. We're gonna unleash a comp unlike the world has ever seen. Enough to reverse sweep these assholes. Level 2 Demacian Mordecai, sir. Online. Is it ready? We can't take any more hits! Get your shit together, Timmy! We cannot afford to crumble under the pressure! Our final team is complete. Why did you so quit instead of Kyle? It... Because! Aatrox wants the Challenger emblem! You Pepega! Behold, a brilliant combination of synergies. Five Demacia, four Challenger, and four Slayer. With Fiora and Mordekaiser as the main carries. Shouldn't we enable seven Demacia? Oh, shut up already! This is it. The moment of truth. Why are there six components still in our bunch? <laughs> 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 We broke. We broke through! Mordekaiser, please! Survive! Yes! <laughs> you better! You wanna fight? Many years have passed, yet I will never forget the most valuable lesson that story taught me. The key to success is friendship. My friendship with my team. You guys, we've been through a lot. I just want you all to know, ever since the very moment you were purchased, I believed in every single one of you. Here we go, round two. They look strong. Good. We wouldn't want to make things too easy. Fiora, what is that pitiful damage? She can't break through. The front line is too powerful. You're a failure, Fiora. 
to yourself and the LaRon family! Stop it! She's level one! This is what happens when you form an allegiance with a nation that values rocks more than magic! You useless baggots! God damn it! Why do I even bother playing this unbalanced garbage? Broken ass Zontrate, classic Mordok negligence. Oh, just you wait. The metagame analysis that's about to grace Reddit. I'm not gonna hold back one bit. The alert just. Uh. Hey, you okay? I'm sick of losing. I know Twitch chat can be a bunch of assholes, but they're right. We need to study, we need to train. For the first time that day, the young man was right. I lacked an anime training arc. And I was done stalling for it. So much pain, so many boring study sessions, but we did it today! And now that we're at Master's rank, the learning has only just begun! Baga! Don't you understand what this rank means? We have officially mastered TFD! And now we will aim even higher, we will skyrocket our LP, we'll cruise through Grandmaster into Challenger, and we will record and share our journey with the world. Ah! Uh, does that mean- Yes, Timmy! Daily uploads are back! We will revive the channel from the ashes and prove all the haters wrong. It will be glorious. We're gonna have to learn the new set that's about to come out though. <laughs> That'll be easy. The hardest part is clearly behind us. Onwards, Timmy! Learn everything about the new set and then tell me! Okay!